Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I have seen this trend on YouTube with a few of you junk journals and crafters out there. And I have been wanting to do this for a while. This is um, just a composition notebook that I got, you know, offline or whatever. Um, what I'm going to do for mine, I'm calling it a Chunky Monkey because my cat happens to like his monkey blanket and I don't know, I just thought that's what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it Chunky Monkey. So this is going to be my Chunky Monkey composition journal. So I believe Liz Drake, um, she has Big Fatty and I believe she recently started a Big Fatty 2 and uh, Dawn from Let's Make a Mess. She has her fatty patty, and I know probably a few of you out there probably have yours. Well, this is Chunky Monkey. And so far, I've already got some pretty thick pages going on in here. But the first step you do is you're gonna crinkle up some of your paper. And I left some of my pages in here straight so I could just show you, you know, just real simple, you know, crinkle them up. No, it's not rocket science. Crinkle them up any way you want, however you want them to crinkle. You know, just get them nice and crinkly, and that's going to start to give you that thick appeal that we're all going for, that we'd like to see, is that nice thick journal. So crinkle up your pages nice and good. Separate them all out what I do at least. I've crinkled all of my pages. Some people, they might um, decide to, uh, you know, glue some of your pages front to back, and that's fine if that's the way you want to do it. But for mine, because this is strictly going to be just a junk journal, I'm going to be collaging out of this primarily. I'm going to do collages in this. But other junk journaling stuff, I'm just basically throwing stuff down onto the paper. So... I don't need to have them double. I want mine to get nice and chunky and thick. It is literally going to be a chunky monkey. I want them all done with it. This might take me two or three years to complete. So that's your first step is wrinkle up all your pages or some of your pages for those of you that might want to, uh, you know, Put your glue your pages. If you are going to glue your pages together, I would recommend doing that step first and then go in and wrinkle up your pages. That's what I would advise for those of you that want to glue a few pages together. Because I'm going to be a lot of collaging in this, my pages are going to get thick, you know, so I don't see the point of having to put two together. So, and I just go through here any that I didn't wrinkle up. I sat down last night. I was wrinkling a lot of this up last night, but I left a few not wrinkles. I could just show you the process here on camera. Not that it's really rocket science, you know, and if some of them get a few little tears, don't worry about it because, you know, again, it's a junk journal. It's to throw stuff down. It's no big deal. I'm not worrying about it. I think I've got most all of these that I haven't wrinkled up. Alright. I'm out here. Oop, I think we got them all. Okay. So, like I said, that's basically your first step is go in, wrinkle up all your pages. It looks nice and look at that. Already. Look how thick that is. Ah, oh, so beautiful. I love it. The next thing you want to do that I've seen the ladies do is you want to make sure that you reinforce this spine. You know, again, these are composition notebooks. They're not made very good, you know, and they're certainly not originally. This one is a mead one. This one is pretty nice. Here's your center, you know, but some of those that come from the dollar store, they may not be put together as good as these, but what I've got here, I am going to actually put five sections in. I've got some ribbon here, and I just, I don't know, this is just what I've got in my supplies, so this is what I'm going to throw in, you know. I'm going to take 
this white one. I'm going to put that one down in the center. I think I when I saw Liz's latest one, her remake of her Big Fatty, Big Fatty number two, I believe she just did three sections, but that was just what enough ribbon she had to do. But I'm going to do five sections just to really make sure that this spine is enforced and so it doesn't fall apart on me because it's going to get a lot of a lot of abuse. <laughs> it's going to get a lot. So you want to take it in there, wrap it around. Okay. Take it about yay. So, you know, you don't want a whole lot of string, but if you want to add any little doodahs to the ends of your string or whatever you want to do, or you want to have it nice and tied, you know, I'm going to make mine about so big. So I'm going to go ahead with all my other ribbon and go ahead and get these all about that length, this length before I put this in. Just set that back there. Let me see. But this afternoon I just sit down and I've been wanting to make one of these for a while now when I saw uh, Liz's video of and then I saw Dawn let's make a mess I saw her make one and I thought oh you know what I really want to do one of those and I'm gonna use it primarily for my collaging but I might just do some junky stuff thrown in it and I don't know what really it's gonna turn out to be I have no clue but it's gonna be fun regardless and it's going to be a lot of fun. I enjoy, you know, junk journaling. And this is just another type of journal you can make. So. There's all different types of junk journals out there and how you can make them all. And that's one thing I want to show on my channel is all the different types that you can make. And what we can do with all of this. And I think it's a lot of fun. and get this ribbon here and these don't have to be perfect you know if they're not all the right size because we're gonna go ahead and trim them up and again it's a junk journal I don't really care you know I'm not making this to sell it it's strictly for just throwing in old junk mail and whatever collage old newspaper clippings and and um, or magazine pictures. I don't care. All right. I'll put all my ribbons away later. Right now I just want to get these off of here and then throw them in the junk journal. take this one cream since I've got a couple creams here I actually put the cream in in the center changed my mind I definitely want one and I would recommend this I believe Liz did this as well definitely have one in your center you definitely want to have one in that center and how you find your center is you look where um, you look where you find it's sewn let me zoom in here real close for you and let you see that. You see these where it's sewn here? That's where you know that's your center of the book. Zoom you back out. All right. And that's how you know your center. And for those of you that like to paint or use your distress inks, you could. If you had ribbon like similar to this, you could even, you know, color it or make it look distressed, make it look old, whatever. But for me, I'm just going to do it this way, and I don't really care. Because, <laughs> again, it's just a junk journal. 
And you do want to, um, I'm left-handed so it's a little hard, but you do want to make sure that you are using a fair, nice tug. You know, when you get up here to this, you want to make sure you're doing a nice, nice tug and get it down in there. You don't want to tug too hard, but you want to make sure that you got a nice, strong tug before you do your double knot because you really want to give this spine some support. Because now, instead of pulling on this original thread that's in there, it's going to be pulling on this thread. You know, this is going to be, it's going to give it that support and keep it, keep it strong. So. And I'm going to go in at the front here. I'm not going to do the front cover, but I'm going to do like a couple pages in to give it that added strength here in the front of that book. And I'm going to do the same in the back of the book as well. Make sure we get it down in. Get it down in there. Okay. And give it a real strong tug and get it a nice tight knot. I'm going to do the same in the back, these last few pages here. Again, I'm going to go in with a string and make sure that it's really strong in these, where the cover is. You know, you really want to make some, make it strong, make it supported. So, at least that's what I'm gathering from what these other ladies have done. I believe the original one that Liz talked about is Tangie Baxter was the original one where she got her idea from years ago when she first made her big fatty. I love watching Liz Drake's channel. She's wonderful. But I've also enjoyed Dawn at Let's Make a Mess. She's got a lot of wonderful chit chat videos and her little cat Gracie joins her often like you know you hear me every now and again say cello's here which by the way he is with us so all right i've got the one in the center now i'm gonna go kind of and i got the one in the back so i'm gonna kind of go in between somewhere to kind of between the back and that and then that mid section there i maybe maybe i'm overdoing it but this is just what I feel for mine, because like I said, it's going to get a lot of abuse because, uh, <laughs> trust me, this is going to be like, yeah, we're going to be abusing this thing. So I'm going to make sure that mine is really strong in here. This chunky monkey is going to get very thick and a lot of stuff's going to get slapped down into this journal. So that's why I'm making mine like five times strong. <laughs> At least that's my hope. All right, now do the same thing about midway through the front here as well. All right, with this white. Oops, I lost my spot. Let's see. All right, there we go. And I just used whatever strings I have, you know, this is just some of these are sheer like ribbon I got from the dollar store, but I, I would imagine you can use whatever type of string, yarn, whatever you have, you know, this is just what I happen to have available to me, so it's what I'm using. All right, make sure you see all of that. That's what we have. There's my strings, and I might do some, 
yeah, little doodahs or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all of these. You know, and I may not even even them all up. I just kind of like them looking kind of junky. Just thrown in there just to really enforce this spine. So we can begin working in this chunky monkey. Okay, the next step is for those of you that have old inks, um, you can use old inks. Uh, about the only just inks I have are my little distress inks. So I'm going to use my, I do have this distress ink here. This is old paper. I'm going to use that on a few of the pages. Um, but also I'm going to go in with my oil pastels. I don't know. It's what materials I have available to me right now. So I'm going to kind of do my backgrounds with some oil pastels. So you just randomly start choosing, you know, some, like again, if you have your old inks, go ahead in with your old inks and just kind of slap some ink down onto the page. Again, I don't have a lot of inks. I do have a few other colors with my distress inks, but I don't have a lot. So, oops, I didn't mean to bump y'all. have some of this old paper that I both throw down here and a few of these pages. it's supposed to take away that awkward what do I do with the page you know type of fear that people sometimes have and let's see I'll use one of my other distress inks hold on a second I'll go in with a couple of these as well I like this old linen I like the you know old yellowed feel to my you know that vintage so I'll do that on a couple of my pages here. It's not really showing up that great on camera, but it kind of makes the paper look old and yellowed, which for some of my stuff that I like to do, as many of you have seen, I do enjoy... Get that down in the spine a little bit better there. I love that old yellow feel and actually I'm gonna go over this ribbon that's in here make it kind of look aged and yellowed and old. After all this is a junk journal. Who cares, right? Alright, so to do that I'm gonna now go in with some of my oil pastels. I don't know how these are gonna turn out. This is not what the original creators did, but this is what I'm gonna do. So for my backgrounds, these are just Crayola cheap old oil pastels. I don't know, I've never used them really. Don't know much about them, but kind of remind me of like a crayon. Just what I'm doing. Don't care. Just slapping down some color, that's all. Kind of looks cool. So if you have old crayons or markers, hey, if you don't have inks, go ahead, try, you know, use, use what you have, guys. Just because the original creators did it a certain way, be your own person. You know, be that existentialist that I am. <laughs> you know, I'm, I do my own thing. You'll find that on my channel. I always do my own thing. I'm going to go in here with these little pastels. I kind of like them. Gives the paper an interesting feel. Kind of velvety. It's kind of neat. So, I don't know. Why not? Ooh, different shade of purple here.
Ooh, got like a metallic silver. And I don't care, you know, if, these, if this isn't the right type of paper for oil pastels, because it's a junk journal. I don't really care. You know, whatever. You know, there might be certain paper you're supposed to use these on, but they're Crayola. I really highly doubt that they're really, you know, that high quality. I highly doubt it. You know, they're, they're cheap old Crayola. I doubt that they're really going to be that. They're probably more similar to a crayon than they are anything else. But I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Boom. Ooh, I like this kind of minty green sort of color here. Here. And I'm not going to do this to all my pages because some of my stuff is going to be collage and it's going to be, and I might not want this effect on all my pages. I might even come in with some paints and some watercolors. I don't know. I just know that that's what they did on a few of their pages. I ran with some inks and I'm using my, you know, here's my ink. Some oil pastels, you know, whatever I have available to me is what I'm using, you know. It really doesn't matter. Because we got two more other materials we're gonna do for making. I guess we're breaking in the blank page here. There we go. Alright, so that's all I'm gonna do with the oil pastels. So Put these puppies away. Oops. Okay, flying out. All right. Oops, I'll go this way. Hold on a second. Let me get these put away here real quick. All right. Definitely make your hands. It got. Let me grab off. A <laughs> wipe. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, the next thing that uh, they do is they go in with some glue. And some papers. Now, Liz basically used all kinds of um, just scrapbook papers. Now, I personally, I just have a few little sheets of scrapbook paper. So I'm going to also be doing some painty papers, some collage. Um, I have some security envelopes. So I'm going to kind of do mine here again a little different than how Liz did hers. But I do want to put, um, I do have a couple sheets of this. I didn't really care for this particular paper, so I don't mind throwing it in my junk journal. The other papers I have, I'm saving those for um, for card making. So, excuse me. All right, got my glue stick. We're just gonna plop this down. Listen to the sound of that paper. When it gets all crinkly like that. Oh, I love that. That just sounds awesome. I think this glue stick is just about out. Yep, I think so. That's okay, I got plenty others.
All right. Boop. Bye, glue stick. <laughs> nice knowing y'all. All right. I'm going to pop this down. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Do another page. I got another glue stick. Let's do a page in the back. Similar to that. This is actual shop brand glue stick. I've never used it, so we'll see how good theirs is. Good old dollar store. Gotta love them. I don't know how my cat is sleeping through all of this, but he is. He's out like a light. He is magically sleeping through all this noise that I'm making over here. All right. Got another one down. And somewhere in the middle. Throw in our last little. Interesting designed paper here. Like a leopard, hot pink leopard skin paper. doesn't all stick down we'll go in no big deal make it sure it sticks down okay now what I'm gonna do which is something that I did not see the other ladies do but I'm gonna go ahead and do it on some of mine I'm gonna take I've got this old medicine pamphlet paper here I'm gonna take some of this some of these little strips here of paper. Alright. And I've also got some painted papers that I have from a few weeks ago when I did some painted papers. So I didn't throw away any of my strips. I kept them. So I've got a few of these, a lot of these actually, and also I've got some old, from old bills and what have you, some security envelopes. So we're going to be throwing a lot of this stuff down on a few of these pages, do some collaging here for our background. And again, this wasn't what originally was told to do, but I don't care, I'm doing it anyhow. I do my own thing. For those of you that may not have, um, you know, scrapbook paper or what have you. And also, I have also some construction paper we'll throw down too. So, on a few of these, we'll just do some collaging and get these set for when I do want to actually do some collaging with all of you. So. That is a coming. So, let's throw some of this stuff down. Why not? Alright, so here is my glue stick. put um, the glue stick on both, you know, the paper as well as the little images I'm going to throw down. So, I 
realize it <laughs> kind of actually matches that color, sort of. That's kind of cool. Sort of matches. Maybe we'll end up doing a whole spread with something similar. Who knows what I'll end up doing. I have no clue. I know one thing, it'll be a lot of fun. Whatever we decide to do, it'll be a lot of fun. Seeing this, good heavens. I'm fading at that. go you kind of get the idea just slap some stuff down you know again you don't have to do the whole background you can if you want you know just throw a few little bits bits and bobs on there some painted papers however you want to do it it doesn't matter just do whatever you want to do move on to the next page you know throw stuff down slap it on there it doesn't matter what it looks like because again it's a junk journal and these are starting, you know, you're clearing away that supposed nervousness of a blank page. I've never experienced that. I just, as you guys have seen, I just grab images and throw stuff down and let it kind of lead me to however it wants to come through. But some people, I guess, you know, deal with nervousness of a blank page. And in collaging or in art, you, you do kind of have to do a background, sort of, you know. You know, it does help have it starting with some type of a background. And then you put a focal point down, you know. And then you build, you add little doodahs and, and ephemera in. And, and it kind of takes on a life of its own. But yeah, you do have to kind of start somewhere. And you need that background, at least. That's what I'm learning in junk journaling and art journaling, is you do have to have that background. So, that's what we're doing. We're just throwing paper down. And like I said, I've also got some uh, some construction paper so we can tear bits of it up and throw it down on the page as well. Yeah, really, anything you guys want to do, it's your junk journal. Do your own thing. You know, I'm going to throw stuff down. I didn't mean to cover that all the way up, but who cares, right? You know, if you have old junk mail or old painted papers or whatever you have, just throw it down. Just start making some backgrounds. And that's what we're kind of doing today. We're just throwing stuff down and having a ball. At least I am. I hope you all are enjoying it. <laughs> there we go. You know, even your kids, you know, artwork that, you know, you know you're not going to save it, you're going to throw it away or whatever, even your coloring pages, you know, you did one and you don't want to keep it or whatever, put it in your junk journal. Use it as background. Do whatever you want to do. All right.
and just choose whatever colors, you know, whatever colors speak to you, whatever colors look good together. If you're picky about certain colors, well, you know, I'm not right now. I'm just kind of throwing stuff down just to give you guys an idea. I'll go in later and do some more actual taking some time with some of these and maybe color coordinate some of these pages. And I might not even do all of these pages, you know, as background because I may not want to use this technique or I might want to, I have a project in mind where, okay, I want to use a particular background image but for the purpose of doing this video giving you guys some ideas on how to make a fatty fatty junk journal this is what I'm doing everybody does their own thing just taking you know Liz's and all their ideas and making them my own doing my own thing that's really what I do 90% of the time anyhow I've never followed the crowd. I've always been my own person. Okay. I've got also here, I had some glitter that I have from my planning. I'll throw down. So really, yeah, you see any anything you want. You want to just throw it down, do a little collagey background like this. Do whatever you want to do. You know, have fun with it, guys. No stress. That's what's so fun about this technique of junk journaling is there is no stress. You're not getting graded and nobody's, you know, you see the crowd do one thing and you say, well, I don't have those materials. So... Do your own thing. Use what you got. You might just create something new. But the others might be, look back and go, Oh, I like that. That's a really cool idea. I'm going to try that. There we go. This might take a little longer than just throwing a piece of paper down or what have you. You know, you, you do have that to consider. But... You know whatever you can even do a whole strip like that you know do your own thing do a whole strip of painted paper let me get my glue spread on here first boom I love I don't know it's cathartic or something about sitting down and just gluing stuff I don't know call me weird but I enjoy it I'm just going to do that. Boom. There you go. Do, do, do. Let me see. What else do I have? Ooh. Her something. I love these security envelopes to use as background because some of them, see... They all have different, like, colors and designs and all kinds of neat stuff. I like using this. And like I said, a lot of this little chunky monkey here, he's going to become, or he or she, I don't know, it's whatever it is. It's a junk journal. It's going to become a collage. A lot of it's going to become a collage book, but a lot of it's going to be junk, too. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything, like, specific collage book, glue book. I don't know. I just throw stuff in and I think all my journals all are all kind of like, you know, a mix mash of, of everything, you know. It just depends on what happens to be speaking to me that evening and which one I decide to pick up. I have, you know, a few going now, but I want to give you guys some ideas of different types to make and how to make them and what to do with them. I really like these like, you know, chunky monkey one that like Liz Drake and all those have made the big thick one. I can't wait to see how how it's going to grow, you know. But I don't know about my little cereal box ones. They might end up being, you know, pretty chunky themselves. I have no idea how they're going to turn out. I don't know. 
we'll have to wait and see what happens. But for now, this is how this one's going to turn out for the time being. Ha, ah, look at that, guys. I have one on one side and another color on the other side. Oh, sweet. Gotta love that. So we can have one one way and one the other way. And look, they both kind of match the page because we kind of got a pink-blue type of, type of deal going on here. I don't know. Just throw stuff down any old way you want. Use whatever resources you have, whatever papers you have, security envelopes, medicine packaging, whatever. Okay. So, another thing I wanted to show you with this um, that I saw, I believe it was Dawn from Let's Make a Mess, is she also went in with washi on the edges. And I believe it was Jenny Belly that did this in her junk journals. And I thought on some of these, I've got some washi tapes here. There we go. And I've got a variety of washi tapes here. I thought we'd go in with some of these and do that. So, let me see. Let me go on these edges here and make them pretty. Okay. Let me see. I go here, this little edge. Straight down. go on the other side and do the same so you can add you know just little details that's you know making that it's already starting your page you know you're already starting that page and you can just add to it each day you know you pop open that and you'd be like oh I like that color scheme we're throwing this down on it or not <laughs> whatever you want to do but try to line that up as best I could. But if not, that's okay. I don't care. It's a junk journal. <laughs> and if it gets a little wrinkly, it doesn't matter. It's a junk journal. Okay. Some of my thicker washi, I'll just go and roll over. But. I'll do a few of these and then I'll let you all go and enjoy your day. Alright. I think Jenny Belly calls this juicy edges or something to that nature. Juicy edges. I'm going to roll that over. Fold it over I meant to say. Good grief. My English today. Goodness gracious. Okay, here we go. Again, if it kind of wrinkles it up or whatever, don't worry about it. You know, you can go in with your scissors later and trim it off. No big deal. Here we go. Okay, what else we got here? You've got some of your pages already started for you. And like on mine, you see uh, this kind of tour? Well, guess what? 
we've got a correction for that. We're going to put this washi down. So we'll take care of that little torn edge. No big deal. A little torn edge don't, don't bother us. We'll just do that. And we'll go in again, another layer here. So you've already got your page started. And you took care of a little tiny tear. No big deal. And it makes it, as Jenny Belly would say, nice and juicy. You know, makes it nice and juicy. Go in with another color on the other side. Let me turn it around and let you all see what else I'm doing here. See, line it up. It's washi tape. If you put it down wrong, don't worry about it. Pick it back up. It's not hard to work with. Washi tape is <laughs> one of my favorite things to work with. And I started using washi tape in my planning. I never knew about junk journaling a year ago. Didn't know anything about it. I started doing washi tape in my planner. There we go. Trim up the edge. There we go. There you go. Now you've got washi tape on this edge. Then you got your washi tape over here and you took care of that little tear. I've got another little tear here on this page. So we're gonna just keep on going here. With oh, some of this washi tape. I got this from Michael's last year when I was doing my started with my planning and some of it is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And to be honest, I don't use washi tape much because I use my kits now that it's just sitting there. So here, I'm using up my washi tape. It's not going to waste, you know? It's not sitting there being wasted. There you go. And yeah, if it adds a little wrinkling or whatever, that just adds to the effect of the junk journal appeal. See? Like, who cares? So, no biggie. Come off the edge. There you go. Make it nice and pretty. Gives your took, took care of a couple little tears there. I've got another little page here, so we'll go ahead and throw some more of this pretty washi down. Yeah, unfortunately, I was a little too rough with it last night. I'm like, ooh, I tore a couple of my pages, but that's okay. That's all right. We got it corrected. It's no big deal. Washi tape to the rescue. <laughs> Made my edges pretty. All right. Now, let's see. I'm going to use this one. Ooh, or where is that one? I haven't used it yet. Have a, let's see, which did I use back here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. This pretty polka dot one I got last summer in a uh, Happy Mail. I'll just tuck that over the edge. There, no big deal. Look, hmm. no biggie. There we go. All right, so you get kind of an idea there, guys, of how to do, you know, your own little chunky monkey, so to speak. You know, you get an idea. You can go in and do this on your own. Um, I just wanted to put something down here on camera with all of you, and I'm going to go continue on my little journey here and continue making this add in some more juicy edges and add in some more background to it but I wanted to just share with you all get this started and going so let's just do a quick little flip through before I end this video let me just get some of this stuff out of my way let me just recap what we did okay first you crinkle up your pages you know give them a good old Crinkle, crinkle. Okay, you did that. 
Then we went in and we put in ribbons to enforce that spine, make that really strong. Then next we went in with some, uh, let me find it here. You know, we went in with some color, some type of color on your background. You could do that with your inks, or you could do, in my case, I just took out Crayola oil pastels, or if you have colored, colored pencils, or, you know, watercolors, whatever you want to do. Then the next thing you do is you do some, throw down some scrapbook paper, or again, I, I don't always have a lot of scrapbook paper, so again, I did my own thing. Put down some collage backgrounds with whatever papers I had available. And then the last thing I did, which is another technique I got, is edges. You know, did some of these edges. Make them look real pretty. So I'm going to probably continue more of this. And there you go. I have got Chunky Monkey started. So be looking for, we're going to be sitting down and doing a lot of pages in Chunky Monkey. And I thank all of you for joining me. This was a lot of fun to sit down here. I hope many of you start your own little chunky journals out there and thanks to Liz Drake and Dawn from Let's Make a Mess, Jenny Belly, all of you YouTubers out there who've inspired this journal, thank you so much. I hope all of you are inspired as well and I hope all of you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please click that subscribe button and be sure to check the notifications bell so that whenever more videos like this roll on out, you're sure to get them. Next time, we're going to do our cover for this. So thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.